What's going on guys? Mr. Tecumseh here with another helpful video. This one is concerning um, installing an actual cigarette lighter socket into the 2011 through 2013 Chevy Silverado 1500 and the Sierra. And it would probably uh, pertain to the 25 and 3500 as well. Now there's a few videos out there on how to replace the power adapter piece and socket a couple guys and ladies call them cigarette lighters but they're not cigarette lighters as you can see there's no lighter prongs in there to heat a lighter okay so they're just the 12 um, volt DC um, power outlet they're not cigarette lighters okay this one right here as you can see it has the prongs and the little thing the tips on the end to heat one of these actual cigarette lighters that's what this video is going to pertain to doing that because it's not covered at all and general motors uh made this a little bit confusing because they sell the part for the 20 the 2007 through 2010 model but for the 2011 through 2013 they don't list it but it still works it's this one right here this will work okay that's part number one two four nine nine six eight one you get the lighter the, the lighter socket and the plastic bezel you need for this to fit in because the reason why um, the cigarette lighter socket will not work on the 2011 through 2013 models is because this piece inside the dash is too narrow so as you can see the regular power adapter one doesn't have any prongs so it slides right through and clicks in place the cigarette lighter one however won't because you can see it has these extra things on the side that make it wider so if you go to stick it in there it won't go in all the way it'll work you could shove this through and get it in there but it'll stick out a half an inch and you'll have this sticking out of your dash and this won't click and hold in place. You have to press and hold it because these prongs aren't backed in far enough. Okay, so what I'm going over is how to install this part, okay, without having the thing hang, in it, hang out. And then you'll have an actual cigarette lighter. Not just to smoke cigarettes, okay? This thing comes in handy. You get stranded, don't have a lighter, and you need heat, you need fire. This will make it, okay? And the newer modern vehicles do not have it anymore. They only have the power adapter. All right. So here's how it was in the dash. I already took it out. There's plenty of videos on how to take it out. It's simple enough. If you buy it like from Dorman, like this one from Dorman, it comes with the T-handle kit. Okay. There's a T-handle tool that it, it comes with to help push it out. If not, you can take a couple flathead screwdrivers, right? You stick them into these slots and you pop this out. And it's and the whole thing, including including this piece, pops out of there. And then once this is out, there's just one more tab you pop and the, the plug pops out. Okay, once that's out, you're good to go. Then, if you buy this one online, even though it says, like I said, just showed it, it says right here, only 2007 through 2010, that'll work on the 2011, 2012, and 13. You just have to have that plastic bezel. If you don't have that plastic bezel piece, it won't work. It won't work with this one. So you got to make sure you get it with that. Now, I got these ones at the junkyard. I got four of them. I paid two bucks. I got four of them, okay? I'm going to use this one because it doesn't have the cap in the way. But there's a couple couple of them I got, all right? And I even got one of the extra lighters. 
and they would all work. They'll all pop in to that dash, and then the cigarette lighter will pop in and work. Now, on the back, if you notice, on the Dorman one, on that one I just showed that's sold online, and two out of three, no, excuse me, two out of four of these that I got look like this in the back, just like the original stock one looks like that. You know, it's got a three, three squares and two prongs, whereas this one has three squares and three prongs. It's the same thing, just one of the prongs aren't used. And I took these out of um, a couple older Chevy Silverados. I took one out of a Trailblazer, and I took one out of um, one other GM vehicle. Okay, the third prong just doesn't get used, so... But anyway, these ones will line up with that pr proprietary plug, so it'll hook right in. So if you go to use, if you go, if you get one of these out of the junkyard, it'll also work. The only thing is, you would have to cut the proprietary plug in the black, in the back, excuse me, and splice in two regular wires so that they can hook into the two prongs okay and then it came with one of these clips that hold it in place so you can also use this kind but then you would have to splice the wire so if you just get the right one it'll go right in okay one other thing i recommend you do before you go messing with that on my truck you um you pull the fuse on my truck it's number 53 as you can say see and it says lighter 20 amp and it's right there so you'll know on the fuse block you pull that fuse before you mess with that so you don't blow the fuse and don't mess up the electrical so that's the first thing you do pull the fuse okay then after you do that and then once you remove that old socket that old power socket and um dash piece you get your new piece that i already showed for about 20 bucks with tax and shipping online on eBay under that part number or you can get them at the junkyard which I got right here and as you can see I've already got it out okay and here's the here's the standard one on this side what it looks like with the you know the traditional one you see in the trucks now which doesn't have the cigarette lighter okay and then you just plug this one in pop it in place and then you have a cigarette lighter and it'll power this stuff too so i'm going to do that right now okay and i'll show it works and then you guys out there can put cigarette lighters in your chevy silverados and gmc sierras because for whatever reason gm is saying that from 2010 and back you can use them and 2011 and forward you can't that's not true you can you just got to make sure you get this proper bezel and it'll work. And these, from what I understand, are the same all the way from way back in the 80s up to 2019. They're all like that. So as long as you get one like this with the two prongs, right, and it pops in place with that type of plug in the back, It'll work just fine. So here, I'm going to plug it in now. I'll show you it works, and then you guys can do the same thing. By the way, here's the T-handle tool. I cut mine in half, but that's the T-handle tool that they provide with the Dorman kit. So you can just stick it in there and pull the thing out. Sometimes these get stuck. It might just be easier to use the flathead screwdriver method and do it and then not even sweat it. But that's entirely up to you. I just want to make sure I get these hooked into the right socket. So I just got to make sure. Okay. One way you could tell it's right is this little indent faces just that way to the right a little bit. And then... The top of it is right there where that that piece isn't the square that's the top so then you'll know you're lined up correctly to plug this in 
because if you don't want to plug that in correctly okay so let me just plug this in bear with me my phone might not be able to fold up while i'm doing this so let me put this down here and see me do it There, it's in. Make sure I get this hooked into the dash. Pop back into the dash. Just got to push it with a little bit of force and it'll go right in there. Got one of them in. Just got to slightly force that thing in there. Once it's in all the way, you're good. So just bear with me a second. Don't force too much and then break the dash. Just get it where it pops in. There it goes. You just got to kind of pop the clip on the back with the screwdriver a little bit to help get it past there and then push and it'll pop in place. <clears throat> you see, I don't want to break my dash, so it's okay if you just force this piece down a little bit to get it through there. There it goes. There, it's in. Now I can put my cigarette lighter in. First, I got to put the fuse back in or it won't work. So I'm going to pop this in place. Okay. Let me put the fuse in and then it'll sh I'll show that it works. Twenty amp, good twenty amp fuse, right there. Fifty three. It's in. Okay. Let's see it. Ready? Let it heat up and it'll pop out on its own. There you go. Oh, woo, woo, ow, woo! And I burnt my finger because. I did not see it glowing, but it is indeed working. <laughs> Do not touch that to test and see if it's working. That's the one other thing, but there you go. That's how you do it. If this video helped you, please subscribe, like, and feel free to comment. If you think you could have done something better, please feel free to do so such as not touching that thing. <laughs> That's the first time I've done that since I was a kid when I didn't know any better. But I just burnt the tip of my finger because I didn't think it, I didn't think it heated up, but it did. It indeed did, and it's working. All right, guys. Give me the thumbs up. I earned it, I think. Later.